As the world transitions towards a cleaner, greener future, electric vehicles are more popular than ever. However, EVs come with a crucial caveat. The batteries they use need to be disposed of properly to prevent environmental damage. The production of batteries requires a big amount of energy and resources and their disposal would lead to the loss of valuable materials, which means that recycling batteries is essential for the long-term sustainability of EVs. Today I'll explore the topic of battery recycling in depth, covering five different aspects. What an EV battery is made of, why we need to recycle, what the companies are involved in are saying, sustainability and what we can use those recycled batteries for. If you like today's video and want more like it, subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up icon so I can see you like it. So what's an EV battery made of? EV batteries are complex devices made up of various materials, metals, chemicals, plastics, and lithium-ion batteries, which are the most common type of battery in electric vehicles, are made up of typically lithium, cobalt, nickel, and manganese. These metals are combined with graphite to create the battery's electrodes. Cobalt, a critical component of EV batteries, has faced scrutiny in recent years due to the association with child labour and environmental damage caused by mining operations. This has put the pressure on battery manufacturers and EV makers to reduce their dependence on cobalt or even eliminate it entirely. For instance, Tesla announced they'd reduce their reliance on cobalt to less than 3% in its newest batteries, while other companies are working on alternative battery chemistries that use less or no cobalt. And why do we need to recycle batteries? There are several compelling reasons why we need to recycle. Firstly, recycling an EV battery helps prevent environmental damage caused by the materials they contain. Lithium, cobalt, nickel, all finite resources that will eventually run out if we don't recycle. Moreover, the production of these metals is associated with environmental damage, like pollution and deforestation. Secondly, recycling batteries can create economic opportunities. The materials recovered from recycled batteries can be used to create new batteries or other products, creating a circular economy that reduces waste and benefits businesses and communities. Recycling batteries can also help reduce the demand for new mining operations and mitigate the environmental impact of producing new batteries. Thirdly, recycling batteries is essential for meeting environmental and sustainability goals. Governments and organizations around the world have set targets for reducing greenhouse gas emissions and achieving a circular economy. And recycling EV batteries is a crucial part of achieving all those goals. One important aspect of battery recycling that should be highlighted is the importance of proper disposal of batteries and we know EVs certainly have a lot of them. Disposing of used EV batteries in landfill or incinerators would have a negative environmental impact. It contaminates soil and water sources, it releases harmful chemicals into the air, and it doesn't make any economic sense. Now, to prevent this, many countries have implemented regulations for the proper disposal of all types of batteries. In the European Union, for example, the Waste Batteries and Accumulators Regulations require battery manufacturers and distributors to collect and recycle a certain percentage of the batteries they produce or distribute. In the United States, the Resource Conservation and Recovery Act requires the proper disposal of hazardous waste, including certain types of battery. Early fears about EV battery longevity have proven to be misplaced. Early Nissan Leafs and early Teslas have done hundreds of thousands of miles on their original battery pack, and whilst the batteries do degrade, they're not being thrown to landfill every five minutes, as the skeptics want you to believe. In many cases, the car body will be outlived by the battery. Sometimes the battery will be taken out as a whole and used in a second life grid storage without needing to be recycled. Or the battery may be broken down partly to its module level and used in smaller parts. Either way, by properly recycling used batteries and recycling them when possible, we reduce the environmental impact of production and disposal. The increasing popularity of EVs and other battery-powered devices presents an opportunity for businesses to develop new business models and revenue streams. For example, companies could offer battery leasing or rental services, which allows them to recover used batteries for recycling and reduce the upfront cost for a consumer. Which companies are getting involved in recycling? 
Several companies are involved in battery recycling. Some automakers, the likes of Tesla, Nissan and more, have their own programs. Other companies like Umicore and American Manganese specialize in recycling batteries and recovering those valuable materials. Like I say, the skeptics think that an EV battery lasts five minutes and gets thrown into landfill, but it simply doesn't for many, many reasons. But the big one is economic reasons. They're still so valuable even at the end of their useful life in a car. Governments are also involved in battery recycling efforts. For instance, the European Union has set a target of recycling 95% of lithium-ion batteries by 2035. The US Department of Energy has invested into research into battery recycling and is working to develop new methods. Moreover, some companies are developing innovative solutions to address the challenges with EV recycling batteries. For example, the British startup Acceleron has developed a battery design that allows for easy disassembly and reusing those components. The company's batteries can be disassembled and upgraded with new cells, extending their lifespan and reducing waste. Another example is NLX and Medark teaming up to develop Italy's first major recycling plant for lithium batteries used in electric vehicles, industrial systems and stationary systems. The goal of the partnership is to help develop a sustainable and circular European supply chain by building a lithium battery recycling plant. The project is part of the European IPCIE initiative which aims to develop a lithium battery supply chain that's sustainable and circular. On one hand, NLX will be in charge of researching and developing cutting-edge technology that dismantles lithium batteries as well as their recycling process, whereas Medark, on the other hand, will be developing the entire lithium recycling process, first of all on a pilot scale and then building capacity. The goal is to extend batteries' life, reduce charging times and make them safer and more environmentally friendly. Battery recycling is essential for the long-term sustainability of us all driving electric vehicles. Recycling batteries reduces the demand for new materials. That reduces the environmental impact of mining. Additionally, recycling batteries creates a circular economy that reduces waste and creates opportunities. But not all of these processes are equal. Some processes, such as pyrometallurgical recycling, can create pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. And some processes like hydrometallurgical recycling are more environmentally friendly but need more energy. Therefore, it's important to develop and implement sustainable battery recycling practices to ensure the environmental benefits of recycling are not offset by the negative impact of doing the recycling. To achieve this, battery recycling companies are exploring innovative methods to minimize the environmental impact of the process. For example, some companies are using biometallurgy, a process that uses bacteria to extract the metals from spent batteries, with several advantages over traditional methods like lower energy and reduced emissions, and lower costs. Some governments are implementing policies to promote sustainable battery recycling practices like the European Union and their guidelines for sustainable EV battery production. The guidelines are aimed at promoting a circular economy and reducing the environmental impact of battery production. So what are recycled batteries used for? Recycled batteries can be used to create new batteries or other products. The recovered metals can be used in new battery production, reducing the demand for new mining, and the plastics and the other materials can be recycled and used in other products, like car parts. And recycling EV batteries creates opportunities where the materials recovered can be sold, creating new revenue streams, and recycling batteries creates more jobs in those industries. Furthermore, recycled batteries have the potential to go beyond the EV industry. Recycled lithium-ion batteries can be used for stationary energy storage, like I mentioned, storing solar power, generated during the day when the sun is shining, and used at night to keep your house going. This could help promote the use of renewable energy and reduce the overall dependence on fossil fuels. Despite the benefits of recycling EV batteries, there are challenges that need to be addressed. One of the main challenges is the lack of infrastructure for battery recycling. Currently, there's only a few facilities worldwide and many countries don't have the necessary infrastructure yet. The complex composition of batteries also adds a challenge to recycle. The process of recycling involves breaking them down into their component parts, separating the valuable materials and reusing those materials. However, the different materials in batteries require different recycling processes and that can be expensive. 
Another challenge is the cost, the process of recycling EV batteries if they're not designed with recyclability in mind. That cost can be passed on to consumers, making EVs more expensive. To address these challenges, governments, businesses and researchers are working together to develop those solutions and promote the best practices. So what are the innovations in battery recycling? Several innovative solutions are being developed right now around the world. One of the most promising is the use of artificial intelligence to optimize the process. AI can be used to analyze the composition of an EV battery, develop the most efficient way to recycle it and minimize waste. Another solution is the development of recycling techniques that recover the valuable materials from spent batteries. Like at the University of California, San Diego, they've developed a technique that can recover 90% of the cobalt in a spent lithium-ion battery, significantly higher than the 30-40% to recovery rate traditionally. And some companies are developing battery designs that are easy to recycle. Like I mentioned, the Swedish battery maker Northvolt, they've also developed a battery design that allows for the easy disassembly and reuse of parts, and that extends the lifespan. The International Energy Agency has developed a set of recommendations for the management of EV batteries, which covers issues like the design, the recycling, and the efficiency. The recommendations are aimed at promoting a circular economy and proper disposal. So what are the potential future developments? As the demand for EVs and other battery-powered devices grows, the importance of getting this right increases. Innovations in the new techniques play a crucial role in ensuring the long-term sustainability of batteries. In the future, we may see the development of new chemistries that are easier to recycle. Researchers are exploring the use of sodium ion batteries, which use sodium rather than lithium as the primary ion in the electrolyte. Sodium is more abundant than lithium and can be sourced sustainably, making sodium ion batteries a promising alternative. So in conclusion, battery recycling is essential for the long term of EVs. Recycling those batteries reduces the demand for new materials, creates new opportunities, economics, and it's important to implement the right practices to ensure the benefits of recycling are not offset by any negative impacts and the new recycling methods coming online are crucial for achieving those goals. With the increasing popularity of electric vehicles and the growing demand for batteries, recycling is becoming all the more critical. Thanks for watching today. I'd love to know what you think now in the comments below. I read all of them and I'd love to respond as well. Let us know what's on your mind. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.